ideas about us doing this anytime soon. <laughs> Now's not the time, Harvey. What better time was there? After a fantastic nine-year run, Suits wrapped up in 2019. You'd think it's over, but guess what? The legal dramedy is back in the spotlight, gaining a fresh wave of popularity. Even though we didn't get Suits Season 10, there's still more to come from this beloved franchise. And who knows, maybe some of our favorite characters will make a comeback. Back in 2011, Suits hit the screens, building a dedicated fanbase. Despite a bunch of characters coming and going, fans stuck around. Mike and Rachel said their goodbyes to the New York firm, leaving Harvey, Donna, and Lewis as the last standing OG cast members. But fear not, characters like Alex, Katrina, and Samantha stepped up, providing the show with the support it needed to reach its epic conclusion. One last con brought the curtain down on Suits, giving us not one, but two weddings and the arrival of a bundle of joy. Harvey and Donna tied the knot, as did Louie and Sheila, who welcomed a baby girl into the world. Since the show ended, Suits has found a new home on streaming platforms, sparking chatter about a potential Suits Season 10. The saga may have ended, but the buzz around Suits is very much alive. Suits gracefully concluded its journey with Season 9, and the series finale was a hit among fans. USA Network decided to bring back Suits for its final run, consisting only of 10 episodes a bit shorter than previous seasons. This posed a challenge for creator Aaron Korsh and the writers, as they needed to tie up all the loose ends in a shorter time frame, and they succeeded. Harvey, Louie, and their allies faced off against Faye Richardson throughout the season, ultimately succeeding in removing her, Denise Crosby, from the firm. Mike returned to lend a hand in taking down their common adversary. The grand finale brought joy to Louie and Sheila's wedding. However, it took an unexpected twist when Donna and Harvey decided to get married too. The bonus revelation was that both Donna and Harvey were bidding farewell to the New York firm, opting to join Mike and Rachel in their Seattle-based venture. This decision meant another name change for the law office to reflect the remaining lawyers, marking Harvey's transfer to the West Coast. With the departure of Harvey and Mike, the suit saga concluded definitively, leaving no room for a season 10. While there are no official plot details for Suits Season 10, several intriguing possibilities exist for the continuation of the story. The series concluded with Donna and Harvey tying the knot and relocating to Seattle to collaborate with Mike and Rachel, focusing on class action lawsuits against major corporations. Picking up the narrative there could explore their new endeavors, although the potential absence of Meghan Markle's character raises questions about recasting, which seems improbable. Another avenue could involve Louis taking charge at Lit Wheeler Williams Bennett. This story might delve into Louis's experience as the managing partner of the firm, presenting both triumphs and challenges. It could also introduce new elements such as Louis mentoring a new protege, possibly echoing the dynamic he had with Mike Ross. Meanwhile, characters like Samantha, Alex, and Katrina could tackle various new cases, adding diverse dimensions to the legal drama. Interestingly, Aaron Korsh, the series creator, has contemplated spin-off ideas, including one centered around Louis Litt. There were also considerations for spin-offs featuring lesser characters in prequel scenarios, exploring the younger versions of ancillary characters. While these ideas were more on the fantastical side, it ultimately depends on Korsh's interest and creative direction. As of now, Suits remains 100% Aaron Korsh's domain, and any potential continuation would rely on his enthusiasm for further exploration with these beloved characters. Moreover, after the conclusion of the main Suits storyline in New York, with no plans for a sequel set in Seattle, a new narrative unfolded in Chicago with the spin-off series Pearson. Launched in 2019, this offshoot centered on Gina Torres' character, Jessica Pearson, as she navigated the intricate world of politics in Chi-Town. Following her departure from the New York firm and corporate law, Jessica found herself immersed in an entirely different environment. Pearson's inaugural season comprised 10 episodes, but unfortunately, USA Network decided to cancel the series after its first season. Consequently, Suits' legacy continued through a Japan remake of the show, although this adaptation only ran for two seasons. 
Abigail Spencer, the talented actress who portrayed Dana Scotty Scott in the original Suits series, has shared her thoughts on the possibility of returning for the new Suits LA spinoff. This fresh spinoff, announced in October, shifts the legal drama's focus from New York to a Los Angeles-based law firm specializing in the entertainment industry. Stephen Amell, known for Arrow, is set to star as the lead character, Ted Black, and the spinoff has generated excitement. In a recent interview with the AV Club, Spencer disclosed her openness to reprising her role in the new Suits spinoff. She acknowledged that while the series creator Aaron Korsh initially envisioned a romantic connection between Harvey and Scotty, the narrative eventually led Harvey to be with Sarah Rafferty's character Donna. Despite this, Spencer expressed enthusiasm about returning to the show, noting that the spin-off could potentially feature anyone in the Suits universe. Her comments reflect the enjoyment she had portraying the dynamic character of Scotty, who played a pivotal role in challenging Harvey throughout the original series. Moreover, Abigail Spencer's desire to return as Scotty in the Suits LA spin-off resonates with the sentiments of other original cast members including Rick Hoffman, Patrick J. Adams, Gina Torres, and Sarah Rafferty who have expressed their own interest in reprising their roles. However, if there's one character from the original Suits series that fans are particularly eager to see, it's undoubtedly Gabriel Match's fast-talking Harvey Spencer, the heart of the original show. Although Match took a hiatus from acting after Suits concluded in 2019, the widespread interest in his return might influence Aaron Korsh, the series creator, to consider orchestrating a cameo appearance for Harvey in the new spin-off. Such a move, however, would likely be considered after the series gets a green light for a full season, following the initial plot episode scheduled to start filming in March. Intriguingly, introducing Spencer Scotty in the pilot episode of Suits LA or early in a potential first season could serve as a foundation for paving the way for Harvey Specter's return to the shared universe of the show. As one of Harvey's most formidable legal opponents, Dana Scott could potentially provide unique insights into Harvey's life after he departed New York to join Mike Ross in Seattle following the Suits season 9 finale. Additionally, a potential romantic storyline with Stephen Amell's character, Ted Black, could set the stage for compelling dramatic possibilities, laying the groundwork for Harvey's potential involvement in the future. Furthermore, the inclusion of Dana Scott in the Suits LA spin-off could act as a narrative bridge, offering fans a glimpse into the aftermath of Harvey's departure and how his life has unfolded since the series finale. This strategic storytelling approach could maintain the connection between the original series and its spin-off, creating a sense of continuity for dedicated viewers. Considering the dynamic legal landscape of Los Angeles, where entertainment industry-focused cases take center stage, the involvement of Dana Scott could bring a fresh perspective. Her interactions with Ted Black and other characters in the new setting might unearth intriguing developments and shed light on the legal world outside of New York. Additionally, exploring the potential romantic entanglement between Dana Scott and Ted Black could introduce a layer of complexity, providing a nuanced portrayal of relationships within the legal drama. This subplot could serve as a tantalizing thread for viewers and set the stage for the return of Harvey Specter, adding a compelling twist to the narrative. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.